I'm making a very quick video. Um, I'm currently at a park. I'm in my car. And I just want to just talk about the importance of dating yourself. Really, like, just enjoying your one-on-one -on -one time, you and Jesus. This is something that I used to do all the time. I would always watch videos about people doing it. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I should do it for myself. And what I've learned over time is that when you really enjoy and be content in you and content in the Lord, there is genuine happiness in that and that alone and what i mean dating jesus is all right let's go to places like go take yourself out on dates like go to places that you would never go getting out of your comfort zone like literally i'm sitting at the park i have my bible i have coffee i'm just sitting and relaxing when i used to live in california i would do like similar things i'd go to the beach because i used to live like 10 minutes away from the beach i'd sit at the beach with my bible and journal there's also a really good time to start journaling at this time you know and really just being content like being happy in your singleness being happy in your alone time with god right like because we're never actually alone there's a difference between solitude and isolation right when you are in isolation you're taking yourself away from certain situations it's different than a season of isolation right because season of isolation the lord can put you in that when you are when you know he's trying to work on your heart he's trying to work on you just you and him right but isolating yourself and i used to do this a lot when i was in the world was you know just being away from everybody because I just wanted to be alone and depressed by myself, you know, and not wanting to put myself out there, not wanting to go explore, you know, my neighborhood or exploring things around me. I just wanted to just be alone by myself. And, you know, at the time I was drinking a lot, so I would just drink by myself at home in my apartment, right? There's a difference with that isolation and solitude is really just accepting and enjoying your alone time accepting and enjoying that's the key enjoying your one-on-one -on -one time with god and you right and just going out and just really being out and about you know and not sitting and wallowing in our sorrows not sitting and wallowing god where is this why didn't this happening to me and you know not being content in your walk but just going outside just sitting out right and just being alone with yourself and being alone with the lord right there's a beauty in solitude so i really just want to just like have this be an encouraging message for someone because i know there's a lot of people who do sit in isolation maybe watching youtube videos feeling depressed or sad and wondering when is god gonna move when is god gonna do things right and god keeps us in a waiting season for a reason right and as we're in this waiting season and as we're waiting for god to move in certain aspects of our life we are to enjoy our time with him we are to really bask in his presence right i think about psalms 37 4 take the light in the lord which means finding your joy and your happiness and your peace in him because he can only give that to you jesus is the only one who can give it to you so i just really want to just release this word of encouragement i hope this really helps somebody today